everybody, Siki here, and aren't you glad it's springtime? <laughs> Just kidding. But that's why I'm doing this tutorial because spring is one of my most favorite seasons. Absolutely love it. So let's get it going with this tutorial, you guys. First, I'm muting out the discoloration on my lids with a little bit of concealer, a dibba dabba do ya. And I'm setting that with the powder. And all of the products that I'm using will be in the description box per the use, okay? And so now we're using a base, and this is just to make this color pop a little bit. It's a white base by Jordana. I can't remember the name, but as I said, I will have everything, everything you need will be in the description box, all right? So I am just blending that out. You wanna make sure it's blended out really well. And now I'm using a color by Makeup Geek, a shadow by Makeup Geek, you guys. And can you believe it's not Cocoa Bear? I can't but it's the next best thing which is cabin fever and now I'm going on top of that well I'm going on top of my lid actually with the shade Morocco and this is a true orange y'all look at that like OMG love it don't be scared don't be scared you can rock it too okay so I'm blending that with a big brush and then I went to my MAC 239 brush which is smaller because I wanted to make sure that I had no gaps and no spaces. I wanted to make sure there was no, no skin peeking through, okay? How about that? Catch me outside, how about that? No, I'm just kidding. And you guys know how we do. After we place a color on the lid, we always go back in the crease and blend it out and that's all I'm doing. And now I'm putting a brow bone highlight on and y'all know I have been loving the shade Running Late by ColourPop. Amazing. So we're blending that baby out once again, and I will be putting liner and my lashes offline or off camera, but I have a video about it, y'all. I just filmed one, so I will link it. Now this liner is by ColourPop as well. This is in the shade Puppy, I believe, but I am placing that in my lash line. And after I do that, like I didn't want it to be too bright, so I went in the waterline with a black liner by LA Girl. And after that, it was still a little bright, so I decided to go in that Cabin Fever and just blend it out a little more. And yeah, girl, this is a Blaze by Makeup Geek. It is their one of their new highlighters, and I have a video about their highlighters as well. And I wanted to highlight my inner corner, but a Blaze had a hint of orange in it, so I decided to go with that. Aren't you glad I did this look? No, I'm just kidding. So I am placing a primer on. That was It Cosmetics Primer. And now I am correcting. I'm using the Makeup Forever Corrector in R50. And this is a new foundation, y'all. It's Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And you see me talking? That's because I did a whole nother video, like a first impression video. So that's coming at you real, real soon, all right? And I'm using their concealer. But like, I'm gonna save all that for the other video. That's why I muted it, all right? So tune in to that. Make sure you subscribe, okay? So I'm blending that out. I set that with my, ooh, not my Ben Nye, with my RCMA. And I'm contouring my nose. I have a whole contouring video that I will link as well. And I'm actually using a powder by The Bomb, you guys. I totally have a bomb video coming up as well. I have a whole bunch of videos coming, y'all. I just need to edit. Edit, edit. I need to edit. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, I am contouring with my Becca powder in the shade Dark Golden, per the use, you guys. And look it, matchy, matchy. I'm using a Becca blush in the shade Tiger Lily, and it has like a hint of shimmer in it, so you can use that as a highlighter if you wanted to. But you know how I do. It's like go hard or go home. So I'm using that Ablaze again. And I am placing it on my cheeks and on my nose as if I needed a lot on my nose. But I just kept going in like I went ham, y'all, you see? But I ain't mad though. But now I'm setting that with my Milani Make It Last Forever Spray. I feel like I'm all over the place in this voiceover. But it's all good because, I mean, come on, we got to have a little fun, right? So I'm using a gloss by Too Faced, which I have a video on that too, but this is in Poppin' Peach, y'all. And I decided to step it up a little bit more to complete this orange look. And I'm using a plush cream by Makeup Geek. And this is in the shade Free Spirit, and it is the bomb.com. It is not drying at all. It is not matte. It is a plush cream. And I believe I have a swatch video on that as well. So this is the final look, y'all. Make sure you check out this video right here and always know that I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support and you guys have an awesome blessed, blessed video, <laughs> an awesome blessed day. Don't forget to thumbs up and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.